KZRT K291 Kansas City. Gospel 1590 106.1 FM. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show. Turn your volume up and let the word of God pierce your soul. 1590 a.m. on your radio dial and 106.1 on your FM, pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory radio broadcast with Drs. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. This is Prophet Asian Blackstock with Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. We are located at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri. You can reach us at 816-795-1900. This is an awesome time to be in the place with God. Amen. So we're going to expound on that. Uh, we have an open window over our head and some things that we have that's coming up that are special on God's calendar. Next Tuesday, we will be celebrating um, Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. Amen. So the Feast of Tabernacles. Well, if you want to tune in, um, we are, today is a very special day coming at sundown, which is the holiest day of the year. And so Bishop Adam Blackstock was going to be expounding on that. Um, tomorrow night in Bible study. So if you do not have a church home or you are able to be released from your church home, this will be a time to be able to come out and receive so you can have a better understanding of the Jewishness of Jesus. So that's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock p.m. and um, 7 o'clock p.m. And then next Tuesday, we are going to end and have that big celebration of the Feast of Tabernacles. And so I'm going to be expounding so I can get individuals in position to be in tune with God on his celestial calendar, amen, not the Gregorian calendar. So that which is called, we have these certain appointed times um, that we are to flow in, amen. So it's not a time for saints to try to be in tune with what Satan is doing, which is um, October the 31st. And so we need to take that day back, amen. We need my people perish for lack of knowledge. The reason why um, the enemy know to, heighten things during this time because he knows that it is appointed time by God. That is the reason why you see so many things transpire and take place. Um, yesterday I put a warning out on Facebook in reference to, um, we got inside information that the actual, the government has put the military on high alert because of the movie, the Joker. Okay. So if the government knows that that is going to, bring about wickedness, how much more the church? So how many individuals are don't know because out of ignorance and don't understand how Satan moves is because that move is so dark and it has so much bad spirits on. The last time, I don't think people even picked up on it, is when Batman came out. That's the reason why they're being prepared this time. And we know what happened to the gentleman that started in that movie. He committed suicide. Listen, even though... Um, in the entertainment of their ignorance, they have to go into a very dark place to do those movies. And so they open themselves up to demonic activities. I mean, if you see just a trailer of the Joker, you will see why would someone want to go sit. And so that's a spirit that Satan will use to spew across those that are sitting there. And then you go, and then you wonder why you acting cuckoo ca -choo. Because you don't picked up on some spirit. So if, if that's not your realm, which I don't know why anyone would want to go see that, amen. The Lord gives me certain movies sometimes to see because I can, he can let me pick up on and see what Satan is doing. But he definitely told me um, that was one I was not to, you know, even when I seen the trailer, I already knew that was something not to be a part of. So please spread the news to your children and everything. Um, please do not go watch that movie. And why would Christians anyway want to have we have want to see something that dark amen and so spread it out to your family and friends because satan plays on the innocence and the ignorance of individuals but we in the body of christ must understand that we are in a war so i'm going to keep crying loud and spare not and to all those that have an ear to hear let them hear what the spirit of the lord has to say if we want to see tra transformation take place in our cities and in our homes then we're going to have to walk in the things of God and separate. He called us to be set apart. You light, light and darkness shall not, shall not mix. Amen. So please, I'll talk later on. Um, I'll have a special guest, um, that I like to bring on just about every year in the month of October. Um, she is an ex, um, ex Satanist so that she can 
um, awaken some of us in the church to let you know how the stupidity that the church play a part in when it deals with um, the satanic, satanic holiday, which is October the 31st. So we're not supposed to even give any light to us. If you want to do something, how about have 24-hour prayer? How about pray? Do those type of things. Amen. So I can say this because we, when we started Glory Bow Fellowship International Church, n not once, we've been going on 15 years, have we ever ever celebrate or did any type of alternative in reference to Halloween. We teach the children. Our five-year-olds can tell you a reference to Halloween. They go into school and tell their teachers um, that it's a, it's a satanic day. It's a devil's day. Amen. And God says what? And a little child shall lead them. So instead of you being concerned about Satan's festival, let's go over here and look at Exodus 23 so you can be a part of what God is doing. Amen. So, I want to lay this out with a firm foundation. Um, I want to try to take my time um, so that we can really be in the vein with God and get an understanding. Because what I'm teaching here and what God demanded that God has given given us at Glory of Our Fellowship is to connect you to your back to your Jewish roots. Jesus um, is a Jew and he will forever be a Jew. Amen. We if we want to lay hold of take claim of the blessings of Abraham then we're going to have to have a better understanding that you have a Jewish Messiah, Jesus Christ, a man, the anointed one. So when we look at this time and the time that we in, which comes um, like we are in the year of 5780. And so when you prophetically, you add it up, it's 20. So in January, we're going to cross over to what? 2020. But we are right now in 2020. In, in God's in God's eyes and on His calendar, Amen. I just feel the presence and the power of God in here. Y'all got to bear with me, Amen, uh, because of things that God is doing and just seeing the hand of God. So when we literally say there's an open heaven, if you would tap into the Spirit, there is literally an open heaven, and it's and so the better way to explain it, there's a, a window over your head. So I don't know if David D can pull that song sometime. Maybe when I get ready to close out, it's by Canton Jones. Say there's a window over your head. So in the celestial being in the, in the third heaven, God has opened up a window. And so when we position ourselves and like on t tonight at sundown, a man is going to be one of the holiest days of year, which is Yom Kippur atonement at one. Amen. And I say at one with men. Amen. If you break that word, if you break that word up. So our Jewish brothers and sisters, they take this time out to fast for um, 25 hours and then they end that fast with a celebration. Amen. So this is a time for some of us, you know, we need to reflect on, you know, wh what type of Christian have you been? Um, do I need to release any unforgiveness and those things? You know, take that's one day fast. Many of us are maybe on a uh, fasting longer than that, but it's a time to be purpose about uh, where you are in Christ. So we can be a part of that and, so, you know, maybe, you know, turn your social media off and all that and just be able to be in the presence of God. The Bible says that one day with the Lord is like a one day with the Lord is like a thousand years. So let us join in with our Jewish brothers and sisters and we can um, benefit from it, that we can just be purpose about fasting and coming before the Father. So at sundown, you can begin your fast, whatever the Lord tells you to do. Um, if you can do liquids, I would say do liquids. Amen. And just allow God to just minister to you and to speak to you. Um, you don't want to be a reproach to God. And so if you judge yourself, you be not judged. And so that's the time. And so that's going to be, we're going to, Bishop is going to be doing some teaching on that tomorrow night. So if you're free to come and join us at seven o'clock PM, please do so. So then we already are, we're still in it. That's when it ends the days of awe. And so over that 10 day period, we already should have been seeking God. And so if it's your first time hearing me with this, okay, you can play catch up and get in that one day, that 25 hour, that 25 hour fast at sundown um, this evening. I hope this evening, we'll start some down this evening and go over until tomorrow evening. And so with that being said, it is going to take us into next week, which would be the Feast of Tabernacles. You can hear the Feast of Tabernacles or you will hear um, Sukkot. OK, and so uh, Bishop will expound more on on that. I want to give us the time and the season we can be in position. And so um, it says in Deuteronomy 16, 16, I'm going to lay you the foundation it says, each year, every man in Israel must celebrate these three festivals. Now, 
um, for lack for the sake of time, in Leviticus 23, it says that these are the feasts of the Lord. Amen. These are, if you track it through the New Testament, you will see that Jesus participated in these. It says the festival of unleavened bread, amen, and that is Passover, and the festival of harvest, that is Pentecost, and the festival of shelters, which is the Feast of Tabernacle. God wants to tabernacle with you, amen. On each of these occasions, all men should appear before the Lord your God in the place he chooses, but they must not appear before the Lord without a gift for him, okay? So we're not supposed to come before the Lord empty-handed doing these three feasts, okay? And so the place that he has chosen, one of those places in your region is Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. And so there, um, there's no, you just do that component, and then God releases these other blessings that we're going to go over here in Exodus 23. I mean, it's plain and simple. If you do this, God says, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Amen. So now that we have that, we go to Exodus 23. Now he tells that there to us in, in Deuteronomy 16, 16. Then he comes back over and he says it again in Exodus 23. In Exodus 23 at verse 14, he says, each year you must celebrate the three festivals in my honor. He goes to her and say, uh, the feast, but first celebrate the feast of unleavened bread. For seven days of bread you must eat will be made without yeast, just as I command you. Celebrate this festival annually at the what? Appointed time in the early spring. So that's what we did Passover. And then he goes over, he said, the second celebration of the feast of harvest. That's verse 16. And when you bring me your first crops of your fruits, finally, the celebrate the festival of the final harvest. Get this, the final harvest. Now, we can really flow with this and understand this because we're in the Midwest and we go through the seasons with God. So what would it look like God telling you to sow in midwinter? So that's why we have to follow and, and track with him. So this is the final harvest. At the end of the harvest season, you will have a harvest of all the crops from your fields. Okay, that means those of you who have been following with us um, from Passover over to, to Pentecost, and then now we're here to the final harvest. This is the where you're going to, I say, it, uh, you're going to receive a bumper crop. Amen. So if this is your first time hearing this, you just get on God's calendar. You just jump in. Amen. It says in verse 17, it's not the third time the Lord is speaking this to us. At these three times each year, Every man in Israel must appear before the side of the Lord. There we go again. He says it there. So I want to jump down to verse 20 because a lot of times when I'm um, trying to go through this, we really I can't get through all of it, but I just get excited. Amen. And so in my um, Bible here, it says the promise of the Lord's presence. I think we forget about the presence of God, which is the supernatural presence. Oh God, the presence of God is always available. You just have to tap into it. Amen. And so in this season, uh, we can, we, there's a, a heightened of, of, a heightness of what God is doing. You have a lot of angelic presence. Now, for those of us um, that are going to put our seed in, um, it's already, you can go to our app on GBFIC and you can look up Feast of Tabernacle or see, look for Feast Seed. Um, that they have it there, and you bring your best seed before the Lord, okay, because this is fertile ground. We have the anointing because we are one of the places that God has chosen, amen? And so this ties in all, also with, with Deuteronomy 26, for the sake of time, where they say you bring it before the Lord, and also ties in you the head. Remember, we, we just came into the head of the year, so don't wait till January. We're the head and not the tail because what? You're at the head of the year. We just will open up with Rosh Hashanah. So then we go over here, and when you bring your feet seed, this is what God says he's going to do for you. Now, the, you don't get this if you don't do what God says in Deuteronomy 16 and that he says over again in Exodus 14 and Exodus 17. He says, when you bring your feet seed before me during this appointed time, which is called a Mordim, amen, here's what I'm going to do for you. Hallelujah. Here's what I'm going to do. He says, verse 20, see, I'm sending an angel before you to protect you on your journey and lead you safely to the place I have prepared for you. Now, that's that. That's what you keep track of these. There's many blessings in here. How are you going to get that angel to be released? This is a special angel released to you because you did what? 
you put your fee seed in. Amen. Go to GBFIC dot org or if you want to mail it in 1126 northeast delta school road it needs to be in by the 20th okay we have to, the instructions you obey is a miracle you shall receive i cannot tell you the countless testimonies that we see in our congregation and from other individuals outside our congregation um they have believed in god for you know the, the greatest miracles we see the outbreak of them come forth and then he says, do not rebel against him, for he is my representative. Look, God has given you a special angel that's his representative, and he will not forgive you of your rebellion, okay? So isn't this a good time that we're coming until at sundown? We've been, we're supposed to go before the Lord. We ask the Lord to forgive us a while, because we want to be in right standing with God, okay? We just don't want to come before, the, before God any kind of way. One of the things is that in, if, um, in Cornelius, it says that his Prayers and alms came up before the Lord in the book of Acts. So when we come before God to bring our feet seed before him, even you need to have your hearts in the right when you do your tithes and your offering, but especially when we come before God with these, with these seeds, he says, you know, that we're supposed to bless him according to how he has blessed us. Amen. If God has blessed me richly, then I am going to be able to come before him and give back to him. Amen. I'm not going to come before him when he's, did so much, much for me um, to, to do that. I'm not going to bring him like a $5 seed. That's not my best. Hallelujah. Glory be to get glory be again. Okay. So she said, uh, sister Davis said she found that song. So we're going to, we're going to close, have her to close out with that. Amen. So listen, I want you to get, it. I like using music because whatever God is saying in the logos were, and then we, by music, that tune can carry over in your spirit. So I want you to understand that there is a window over your head. That, that window moves through these seasons, okay? We are all supposed to activate our faith, but then God has these three appointed times where he's like, listen, uh, he said, I'm going to help a sister out. I'm going to help a brother out, amen? Because if you're not king and knowing how to pray and get your prayers to go through that second heaven, uh, we did some had some teaching on that last night. You got to understand that God is not holding back your prayers. It's just that they got to go through the second realm. So who's in the second heaven? Whose domain is that? Look, he Satan not under your, he's, he's, he's not under locked up yet. The second realm is his domain. That's where all the activity and all the wickedness really starts from and happen. And you just see it manifest on, you know, on, on the first heaven that I call, which is earth. So your prayers, and that's the reason why when you, that's why you, when you're fasting, it helps out your prayers. Remember to look over into Daniel, Daniel chapter 10. It says from the first time, then you begin to pray. There was a, there was a, a prince, there was a, a head demon, prince of, uh, a, a principality, amen, demonic force that was trying to stop Daniel from receiving. Even when you asking God for a message, Daniel was just asking one of the message and what he had to get back up from one of the archangels. Amen. So don't ever quit and give up. Amen. So then we go here to verse 22. It said, but if you are not careful to obey him and follow my instruction, then will he will be an enemy to your enemies and I will oppose those who oppose you. Amen. So when we're walking in faithfulness, you're not alone. You have, I want you to think about, you have an angel that hearkens to the voice of God. But I want you to look at it when you put your seed in, that that angel is assigned to you. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is keep walking in love and walking in obedience. I feel the presence of God. I feel some of you understanding and receiving what the Father is saying. God is for you. Hallelujah. He's for you. You, know, you don't have to, what? He says, as we was talking about, you don't, don't have to walk in fear. Amen. If I know I got this, look, all of heaven is backing you up. I'm going to say that again. All of heaven is backing you up. So, so for some of you pastors that maybe listen to me, um, you know, get a C in to Glory by our Fellowship International Church. Amen. If you don't have that authority, so a C for your church, then do it for your family. You have no idea. You, if, no, if nobody else needs the backing of the fee C, it is pastors. Amen. So don't walk in pride or think you can do it. You can't do what we're doing. Our leader, Bishop Adam Blackstock, a humble man, has a messianic lineage. Amen. Come from the lineage of that. So that's what God called him to do. 
And that is to get the blessing in the lives to all of us. There's no need to be envious and jealousy. Amen. You just stay in your lane. That, that, that's our lane. So that's what we're doing with God. We're trying to get the blessing to the people of God. We kind of get the blessing to the other churches. Amen. We don't need people leaving their churches. We just do this in this season so that everybody will, will receive and receive that anointing over their churches, receive that anointing over their families, receive their anointing over their lives. Amen. And so he says, for my angel will go before you and bring you into the land of the Amorites, the Hittites, the Parasites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, and the Jebusites. Now, one time before, I went through what these look like to us in modern day times. But just all those ites, amen, all those things that are enemy to you. Sickness, disease, poverty, lack, all those, okay, he says, may live there. He says, and I will what? Destroy them completely. Did he say let them linger around? No, he said, I'm going to destroy them completely. So what are some of the isms you have? What are some of the schisms you have? What's those ites? What's that that's keep tormenting you and bothering you? You stand on God's word where you put your feet seed in. Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to destroy it completely. I'm going to destroy cancer completely. I'm going to destroy Alzheimer's completely. I'm going to destroy high cholesterol completely. I'm going to destroy high blood pressure completely. I'm going to destroy immune disease completely. I'm going to destroy kidney disease completely. I'm going to destroy lack completely. I'm going to destroy poverty completely. I'm going to destroy murder and violence out of your bloodline and anger completely. Put a demand on the anointing of God. Hallelujah. God in his words in Isaiah says, command me and see not I do it. That's why he said the righteous are bold as a lion. Come before me. See, when you, when you know that you got God's word. You don't have to be fearful to come before him because you don't did what he said do. You can come before God. I cannot tell you how many time, times where I don't, it done been hard situation, but I know my feet see been put on the ground. I say, Lord, back up your word. And he has moved for me every time. Hallelujah. And then verse 24, he says, you must not worship the gods of these nations or serve them in any way or imitate their evil practices. Instead, you must utterly destroy them and smash their sacrificial uh, pillars. God, so we're, we're supposed to be separated. Amen. When I get on here and I, I'm, I'm, and I'm exposing the devil, amen, I am doing what God told me to do. Amen. Destroy the evil practices. Amen. Destroy um, certain music, all that. That's, we got to look at it in modern day times. So if God judged the nations because of them worshiping Baal and all the kind of stuff, how, what you think he's going to do to us? And the children of Israel were the apple of their eye. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 25, because I got three minutes. You must serve only the Lord your God. If you do, I will what? Bless you. He said, I will bless you with food and water. Hallelujah. So you uh, organic food. The water is also prophetic for a greater measure of the Holy Spirit. And I will protect you from all illness. I'm going to sit right there and let the anointing go. I'm going, you just purpose in your heart, God, I, I want to be able to do this. Put the money in my hand. Hallelujah. It's one thing a fool can hear what I'm saying right now and they'll just, I don't have nothing. So I'm not. Well, ask God. Hallelujah. Ask God. Second Corinthians 9 and 10 said, I will give seed to the sower. To the sower in the master's strong name of Yeshua. I sold a break the bank seed in the name of Jesus. And I did it because I believe God. I kept prophesying it and prophesying it to be a blessing to the kingdom of God through my church. Amen. I have not worked a physical job in the secular world system since 2003. So how could God do that with me? Not my husband. Bishop name was not on that $10,000 seed. It was Prophet Agent Blackstock because I purpose in my heart that I want to do that for the kingdom of God. Amen. And then he says, there will be no miscarriages or infertility in your land. How many of you are believing for children? I have seen so many couples, amen, husband and wife that could, the doctor said they could not have a baby. I don't see so many people, but because they put their feet seed in the ground, they got that baby they was believing for and another baby. I seen a one believer for just one baby and one, no, you know, twins in the bloodline. They had two babies, twins. Hallelujah. Believe me. Why? Because they listened to the prophet and the man of God and did what God says. And I will give you what? Here's another one. Long 
full lives, long, full lives, healthy lives, longevity in the name of Jesus. And then he said, I will send my terror ahead of you and create panic among all the people who land you invade, and I will make all your enemies turn and run. You don't have to be concerned about evil people. You have to be concerned about people talking about you, amen, and try to do things to you. God says he's going to make them turn and run. Hallelujah. That means if God needs to remove them out the city, amen, so be it. And if they that wicked, if he need to remove them out the faith of the earth, then so be it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If the shoe fit, wear it. Glory be to God. I got one minute. And then he'll say, I send terror ahead and drive out the Hittites, the Canaanites. The Hittites. Remember, right? He said, I'm going to drive them out. He said, but I will not drive them out in a single year because the land will become desolate and the wild animals will multiply and threaten you. I will drive them out little by little. So every season you come before God, God is driving out your enemy. He's making your body healthy. He's making your mind healthy in the name of Jesus. Get your feet seed in at gbfic.org. Call 816-795. One nine zero zero. I don't know how much more time I got in the name of Jesus. But as we close out, Debbie D, look at my arm. Hallelujah. I got my, look at my arm, Debbie D. I got my, my, my AI ink on. You know what it say on my arm? Jesus is Lord. Yeah. <laughs> There's something over your head. Hey. There's something on the top of your head. insurance companies were truly honest in their commercials, they would simply tell you that it's their goal to collect as much money as possible and then pay out as little as possible. Car wrecks, 18-wheeler accidents, slip and falls, all serious injury claims. We can help. Call me, Attorney Roderick White, anytime for a free, no-obligation consultation at 816-I-GOT-YOU or visit us online at igotyou.net. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. Wild Woody's Happy Foods is your neighborhood grocery store with bigger savings and better selection every day. Today at Wild Woody's, pick up a picnic shoulder pork roast, only 99 cents per pound. 12-ounce packages of Jimmy Dean Lean Sliced Bacon is two for $5. Big roll of 9 to 10 pound lean ground beef, just $21.99. Best choice cans of corn or green beans, two for a dollar. Shop Kansas City's original grocery store, Wild Woody's Happy Foods, 31st and Jackson in KCMO. At Lawrence A. Jones and Sons at Funeral Chapels, we do understand. You have become parent to your parent or parents. Who knew? Well, let us tell you who knew. The very parent or parents of the very guardians for whom you are now caring, that's who. They had to have been very special to have earned the care you give. They prepared.